Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And um, today we're going to be doing a fun DIY. And we are going to be DIYing ourselves a sound box for our mic. So let's get into it. The only materials you should need, or the only materials I'll be using, is one large box, well, or like a, a medium box. And I ordered some special uh, foam and fabric spray adhesive just for this project. Dan Tack. So let's see how good this will do. And I've also ordered, uh, I don't remember if it was 50 or 100 sponges. Because I can't, I can't afford sound foam. So, I think it was a hundred. Uh, so I got on eBay and I found a deal for like a hundred uh, magic marker, magic eraser foam sponges. And this is what we're going to use for our uh, soundproof foam. Since, you know, sponges made out of foam. So, um, let's get started, shall we? Alright guys, the first thing you want to do is grab your box. And you're going to cut a little hole in the uh, uh, bottom of it to slide your mic stand up through. Some people also suggest putting a pole in and hanging a mic off of it. So this is what we've done here. I've cut the hoe and checked my mic. And now we're gonna go on to gluing the pieces of uh, sponges to the bottom of the box. You wanna make sure to put a lot of adhesive onto the sponge and just line it across the box as tightly as you can. You don't really want any, any creases or um, holes or gaps in between the sponges. And when I reached the end there, I found that I didn't have enough room for full sponges. If you encounter this problem, just cut the sponge. And it shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to cut the sponges to fit and be able to get right around that. All right, there's our one side. And you want to pet press down on it and, you know, make sure it's, it's glued tightly to the side of the box. And then you pretty much just want to go around and do this on all sides of the box. And I'm going to skip through a lot of this, uh, otherwise this video would be super long from this DIY. Although the DIY itself really only only took me about 30 minutes to, to do. I actually got this done pretty fast. As you can see here, I've, I've sped this up, but as you can see I got it done fairly quickly. You just want to make sure you go all around. That way, uh, the entire box is foamed and uh, uh, soundproof. And then, when you get to the bottom where the hoe is, you really want to try to tightly put the sponges in and uh, try to get it as close to the hoe as possible. Although I had a bit of trouble with with mine. Alright, I had a wee bit of trouble getting my mic to stand up with the hoe there, so you could do it that way, or you can fill in the hoe. I decided overall to fill in the hoe, as you can see, and just sit my mic in. So we will see what the difference is between that. Check the sound difference. I, I'm, I really knew with all of the um, sound stuff, so I'm just trying to get the be best sound possible for voiceover. So let's check this out. Well, I think this came out pretty well, and um, if you like this project, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe, and hit that little bell button while you're there so you know when I upload. Till next time, I'll see ya. Peace. Have you ever felt
Are you listening? Damn.